everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it's that time again. Time to take up a champion. But this time, we're going to be taking up multiple champions. Because recently, I've been ranking up a bunch. The resources to rank up our champions has been flowing in, and I've been having a ball. So in this video, we're actually going to go through four different rank ups that I did. Now, if you think you can guess what four I'm taking up, leave a comment below and list them out. But we're going to start revealing them in five, four, three, two, one. So the first one is Odin. Now, I have taken Odin into Alliance Quest for a while now. And I started out bringing him in there just for his pre-fights. Uh, I take path eight on map eight in sections two and three. And you have to have three buffs. Now, I also bring in Hercules. Hercules can get the buffs on his own, but having Odin with those pre-fights gives me easy access to three buffs where I don't even have to worry about it and I can just start doing damage right away. So it speeds things up, just makes it easier. I don't have to throw a special. I don't have to do anything else to get the uh, buffs that I need to do damage. But a few times, I I think I, I had messed up and Hercules was down. And I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like, you know, reviving him. Let me see what Odin can do. Now, this was back when Penny Parker was the final boss on the right side. And I was very impressed with what Odin could do. Now, at that time... My Odin was only rank one. But during the Eternity of Pain and everything like that, he showed that he's more than just a pre-fight battery. So I took him to rank two, and now I took him to rank three because he's actually a pretty good champion on his own, by himself, and he is capable of some good damage if you, you know, do it properly. All right. So Odin was the first one. And now we're going to move to the second one. And the second one is Vision Arcus. Now, I remember when he first came out, we were wondering if he might be a replacement for Medusa. Because Medusa shuts down robots, but so does Vision Arcus. Now, I did a little test, and I still preferred uh, Medusa when it comes to uh, shutting down robots. Uh, Nebula has emerged also as a very good one. However, Vision Arcus is still really good, and with the introduction of Battlegrounds, he can be a very annoying defender if you do not have the right counter. He used to be uh, in Alliance War quite often. And what he does is he causes you to have to really think about your counter. All right. So it's not that you might not be able to beat him, but if you see him, you're going to have to pause and say, okay. Who do I have that's going to be able to counter this guy? So he's a, a, a very good defender in that way. He's going to cause uh, your opponents in the battlegrounds to have to stop and think, what are they going to do with this guy? And as an offensive character, he's also pretty good, uh, especially uh, with the power gain that he gets. So. Say you're fighting uh, Hercules. You know that Hercules, when he's awakened, has that immortality. 
However, Hercules is not immune to special threes while he is uh, immortal. It will knock him out. So if you have a champion that gains power very quickly, then what you can do is fight Hercules normally. And then when, you, when you're getting him near, near uh, to where he's about to go immortal, if you have that power gain, you're going to be able to go to a special three and hold it. And as soon as you hit him with that um, last hit and he triggers his immortality, fire your special three and he's done. So uh, characters that have power gain can be very useful, uh, not just for Hercules, of course, but, you know, anytime that you're fighting someone uh, in the battlegrounds, that is going to give you a little bit of an advantage on offense and it's going to make them more annoying on defense as well. All right. So that was our second rank up. The third rank up is going to be Omega Red. Now, uh, the first two rank ups, I did the level up before last. And I didn't want to make a separate video for each one of them. It's been a while. And this one is on the level up event that just passed. Okay. And I remember, and this is years in the making. I remember when I picked up Omega Red. I picked him up uh, January, and I think it was what, 2020 or 2021. And I waited a whole year and some before I duped him. And then I got, um, I think, another dupe or, or two so that he has a decent amount of SIGs. But I used to use Omega Red all the time, especially in war. But because my five star was max SIG, I was not going to use the six star, who was at the time unawakened. But because I run the recoil masteries, he was still quite good, even unawakened. There was a little bit of a discussion, and I made some videos uh, on Omega Red unawaken but i was running the recoil masteries so he was still doing quite a good amount of work and of course you know if you see biohazard or um anything that that causes you to bleed or anything like that you want to bring omega red if you can because he is still quite good and i know people are still taking him up i'm kind of late in bringing my Omega Red to rank three. People were bringing him to rank three when Prestige was still a, a, a big, big, big deal at this level. You know, now, of course, we're on to rank fours and some are, are about to get their rank fives. But when rank three was a thing, he has very low prestige. People still took him up. And that's why he was just so good. All right, and now for the last one, Hulkling. Now, I just got Hulkling. If you did not see that opening, you really need to go see that opening. It was fire. I, I couldn't even imagine a better opening at that time. Hulkling, I have wanted for a long time. Um, I didn't want him right when he came out because I didn't really know that much about him. And then he was in the arena and I was like, "Ooh, I want him, but I know a lot of people are going to be grinding for him. So uh, I don't know if I want to do that. But in this last uh, opening, oh my goodness. I got, I think, five new champions. And I think three of them about three, three or four were Cosmics. It was crazy. I know at least three I can think of uh, offhand, and it might have been four. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, people now calling me, or at least one person is calling me, 
the Cosmic Whisperer. And I actually was thinking about that when I kept getting these Cosmics. But with Hulkling, I don't actually have that many champions left that I really, really want. You know, we've got the Greater Banquet Crystal uh, event still going on right now. And I think the only thing that could top you know, the icing on the cake would be if I could get a Weapon X. That's the only trophy champion I don't have in any form. And I would love to get him. I'm a, I'm a collector. You know, it's not like he's, you know, like this great, great, great champion. But I like Wolverine. And I'm a collector. And I've watched people pulling him. Uh, my boy, uh, I won't say who, pulled him twice I don't want to ruin the uh, opening for him, but pulled him twice. That's insane. Now, my opening was awesome. I did pull another trophy champion, but, you know, it's just a collector thing. I, I want to get Weapon X. Now, I'm going to probably open up, you know, maybe 10 more uh, Greater Banquet Crystals. Maybe more. We'll see. But... Uh, if I could get Weapon X, that would probably be the only thing. Other than that, um, I still don't have a Scorpion. Would love to get a Scorpion. Anyone else is honestly just champions that I would just like to have. You know, Blade. You know, I would just like to have a Blade. Cable to match my um, Apocalypse. Um, Captain Britain. I think she's cool. You know, will I use her a whole bunch of places? Probably not. But I'd like to get Captain Britain. She seems pretty cool to me. Especially in an arena grind, she's pretty fast. You know, so, you know, there's, there's champions. Mutant, it seems to be uh, the class that I have the most that I really want. But Scorpion currently is on my most wanted list. Um, but anyway... Uh, I'm going to play around more with Hulkling because Hulkling, he, the reason why I think a lot of people uh, really like Hulkling is that he is a double threat. You know, uh, considering Battlegrounds, he is really a threat on, on defense, but he's also good on offense. He does a lot of damage. It is crazy how much damage he does. And, you know, for Penny Parker, he does great damage. Um, I still like Gallon better as a Penny Parker counter, but Hulkling is awesome. And you'll notice that I'm taking him up and he's not awakened. He doesn't need to be awakened. Now, do I want him awakened? Sure. Um, will I awaken him? I have a few awakening gems that I could use. We'll see. We'll see what happens, uh, whether I, I take him up further or not. I don't know yet. But Hulkling is a beast. And I definitely like him for his defensive and his offensive potential. All right. So anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about my rank ups? Four new rank three champions. My roster is looking good. And I also, from the Greater Banquet Crystals, I have enough to take another champion to rank four. I didn't do it this level up. And I'm still not sure. I actually have to choose who I'm going to take up to rank four. Hulkling is in the running. Apocalypse is in the running. Um, uh, uh, Nimrod is in the running. Um, we've got Warlock and Ultron. I'll be looking at different classes to see who I have the least uh, uh, represented at rank four and maybe choosing out of those. You know, my Spider-Man 2099. I had always planned to take him to rank four. Um, he's also in the running. Uh, still, still use him, just used him in a, a, 
off-season war just now. All right. So he's definitely uh, in the running. So I don't know. I don't know uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.